I not only ask you to join me in prayer, but I ask you to lend your prayer consciousness to the prayer consciousness of this great ministry. That way it's full circle, and you combine your prayer effort by concentrating on what we can do right now with God's help. And so, we pray. I ask you to get into a comfortable position in your chair. And even more important than that, a comfortable position in your mind. Allow all your cares to just slip away. I ask you to get into a spiritual awareness of God. These are times when we must work more diligently to remove the mountains of doubt and allow the mistrust, the prejudice and the hate that separate the human family in order for peace to establish to be established on every front. We ask ourselves right now in prayer, what can I do? How can I work, God, to remove these mountains? How can I offer love and support? How can I bring about the peace? It seems like there is so little we can do individually to affect the events of our world. But we can always do as the Apostle Paul instructed, pray constantly. And so we begin our journey in prayer, in quiet communion with God. And we realize that God created us to be at peace, to experience the peace that passes all understanding. God is not a God of confusion, but of peace. Rest in God. Allow God to untangle your thoughts in the silence of prayer. God is peace. What all the people desire is to experience the peace of God. We remember the words of the Apostle John, For he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. And we realize more fully that God is truly greater than any force that we may face by becoming still and turning our thoughts to the one presence and the one power in the world, God, we release our fears and allow the peace of God to take their place. By trusting in God and God alone, we know that God will bring about the righteousness and justice for all by affirming and reaffirming our faith, we pray and we do continuously pray. Dear God, we pray for wisdom for the leaders of the nations. We pray for each one who has a leadership role, knowing that God is leading you in the way of wisdom and good judgment to establish a lasting peace. We faithfully affirm God is your help in every need. God goes before you this day, making your way safe and secure. We prayerfully hold to this thought. You are safe in God's love. Wherever you are, God is there to strengthen and sustain you. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, 
is your strength, your comfort, and your companion today and every day. Rest in God in the silence of prayer. You are not alone. The Holy Spirit of peace and love abides with you to comfort and to sustain you right now. You are safe and secure, dear child of God, for you are God's beloved. May you continue to grow every single moment, every single day, in the wisdom and in the stature and in the favor with God and with humans. There is nothing to fear, for there is only one power and one presence in the world, God, the good, omnipotent. Rest in the silence of prayer and accept this as true for you right now. God Almighty, let there be peace on earth and peace in my life and let it begin within my heart right now. Prayer is not to change God, for God is unchangeable, but prayer helps us to change, and then to reach out to one another with arms of love and faith and offer our comfort and our understanding. What the world needs is love, a divine expression of love that extends from heart to heart until the globe is encircled with a bond of love and understanding that will never break. Lasting peace is the peace of God, peace that passes all understanding, a, a peace that bridges the gaps in human belief, the peace that brings people of all nations together once and for all in harmony. This is a peace for which we pray today. In the quiet recesses, we have a revelation. In the quietness of heart, we know that God is at work and peace is at hand. Dear God, I consent in this moment to your peace in filling me. I don't give any excuse in this moment for why I have to delay this. I do not put off in this moment any of your blessings that will and can and do come to me in this moment. I pray this, God. I pray it for myself. I pray it for others. In Jesus Christ's name, I so affirm and know that it is happening. right now.